Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4. Today we're going to be discussing the differences between CB radios and ham radios. Hey everybody, I'm Jimmy Jett and today we're going to talk about the different values that you get out of a CB radio and what values you get out of ham radios and where the breakdown is between them. And to do that, I brought in Tyler from My Off-Road Radio because he's the expert on these things. So he's far more superior than I am. Which is true. Maybe not expert. <laughs> well, I'm going to go with expert here. But he knows way more about all these things. He, we were just outside earlier, and he was talking about different frequencies and different ranges and things like that, and I totally got lost. And he knows all this stuff like the back of his hand. It's crazy. So, anyways, to discuss the values between ham radio and CB radios, mm -hmm. I brought in Tyler. Tyler, take it away. All right. So, um, do we need to add a two minutes on the clock? Oh, we do need to add two minutes. Thank you very much. Let's we'll drop two minutes down on the I was, clock. Ready? I was trying to get away with going like four to five minutes, but... <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right. So, um, the main reasons why you'd want to choose, you know, a CB versus a ham radio, um, lots of different reasons. Big one is the functionality of the radios. Uh, these ham radios are going to work a lot clearer um, if you think about walk, driving around your car, um, mm -hmm. hopefully you're not walking in your car, but if you drive around your car, um, driving on the highway, whatever, and you go be on your stereo between AM and FM, um, you know, when you get into AM, you get all that white noise, that garbled background static. That's the same thing that happens with CB, because CB runs on your AM mode of frequencies, whereas ham, a lot of it runs on FM for okay. the, the different trail communication frequencies we have. So that's your first one, is this the clarity. You get that nice, crisp, clean signal with FM versus AM. The next one is the antenna system. Um, the antenna systems with CBs, in order to have a functional antenna that works well, um, it really has to be fine-tuned, and it, it takes a lot of effort to mm -hmm. tune CB antennas properly. Right. So it doesn't matter how much you tune your antenna just right. Mm -hmm. Your buddy also needs to have theirs tuned just right in order for it to work at all. So right. you may do awesome at tuning your antenna, your buddy may not, and that's an issue. You're never going to be able to talk to each other. Um, and because of that, you have very limited range capabilities with CBs. Uh, these guys here will be able to get just as much, if not more, range from just a little handheld as your full-powered CB in your car would run. Right. Um, so you have the power limits and the different power capabilities of them, too. CBs are very limited on how much power they can use, whereas HAM, very unlimited on how much power you can use. So the, beyond that, the big concern for a lot of people is price. Um, between the two, a lot of people assume ham stuff is really expensive. And really, technology is caught up where it's not expensive anymore. And uh, really, you can get one of these for way, way less money than you can get for a complete CB setup system. So That's true. And yeah. you need a license for ham. And where can people find their license? Um, a lot of places. I actually, with my off-road radio, we do online study courses for mm -hmm. a ham radio tech license. Right. So it's nice. There's a lot of ham cram places out there, but what they do is they teach ham radio in for hobbyists. Off-roaders just want to be able to talk to their buddies and get help if they're in trouble. Right. So um, I keep all of our online classes, the coursework, very... Uh, relatable to off-roaders. It makes sense. I don't get into using big words and electrical theory words and that stuff. Um, so the tech license is very easy to do. We can do it online. You can do it from your home at your own pace. Um, it's very, you don't have to go out anywhere, you know, one or two or sometimes even three weekends right. for some classes. Um, so it's all very easily done, very user-friendly from at your own pace, at your own right. time. Um, and that's all on myoffroadradio.com. Once you have the study and you go through the study course, you need to find an exam location with the FCC. And there's links on our website, uh, My Off Road Radio, to do that. We can get you mm -hmm. set up and I can help you find an exam location too if you need. Um, and then you go sit down, take the exam. The exam really only takes 15 to 20 minutes for most people oh, wow. um, on a Saturday morning. Um, and then you're good to go. They'll notify, notify you there on the spot if you passed or failed. And then it's about two weeks wait time until you get your call sign. Once you have your call sign, you're good to go. Nice. So Yeah. Sounds fun. I can't wait to do it. It should be I'm, fun. Yeah. Um, we have a class coming up uh, uh, that we're planning to do in person, kind of a, yeah. a one-day, eight-hour class. So that'll be fun to 
kind of sit down and get to go over everything with you so that you don't glaze over when I start talking about frequencies anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'll actually have some understanding of what exactly. you're talking about. Yeah, yeah that'll be cool. Yep. But thanks for watching. If you have any questions on ham radio or CB or any discussion of either, please mm -hmm. put them down in the comments. We'll be watching those comments. Hammer down on that subscribe button, and don't forget, keep crawling.